Dear Diary, This is an entry to remind myself never to complain again, or at least try not to. When the toys are all over the counter, don't complain. It means your kids are well and have been playing. Don't complain when you have to make another meal and another snack. It means your kids are hungry, healthy, and growing. Don't complain when they come in muddy. They are able to walk without coughing. So much so, they wrestled in the mud, built a fort, played as brothers. Don't complain when you walk into their room and it's a mess again. It means they were having fun and not scared to be away from you. Truly cherish it all. Hey, Squeaky Tree family, this is going to be a very, very, very different. We are a ho different video than we're used to posting. We are a homestead channel that just, we just share our lives with you and hopes that you will learn along the way things of becoming self-sufficient, raising your own food, um, getting away from the grocery stores, and just, you know, homeschooling, doing all the things. And um, anyways, we came in contact with something horrible. This is... This is, uh, it was a horrifying story for us. We're still in the middle of the story. We're coming out of it. We can tell you a little bit about it. Make sure you um, stick around to hear what ends up happening. We would love for you to join our family. That's totally up to you. It's not the point of the video, though. The point of the video is to just educate you on what we went through in case you come in contact with. If I blind you, I do apologize. Uh, we have been really sick. Started with Cody, our second oldest. He got sick first. Hey guys, you hungry? Cody got sick first and he had a really sore throat and his ear hurt. He's never had an ear infection, but he ended up getting double ear infections, an eye infection, uh, white spots on the throat, which would be a throat infection. This deep, 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 deep cough, which I'm assuming turned into bronchitis because it's affecting, affecting his oxygen. It's hitting all of us very severe. Hey, you want some hay and some alfalfa? Oh, listen, we're sick, so I'm not milking you tomorrow. And you, you need to drink lots of milk, okay? Keep up that demand. Thanks, Cookie. Thanks, Puddin. I am so sorry if you cannot see me in this whole video. <laughs> Just use your listening ears. Okay, I gotta get some hay. So Nathaniel has been doing all these chores by himself for, I don't know, uh, five days or so um, because I got so sick and the kids got so sick, none of us could help him. How's that? That's pretty good. It's all, the whole entire family except for myself got really sick. All in Opal. That's what I'm saying, the whole doing, family. No, I'm saying Opal's doing good. Oh, well, she still has a fever. She, has, she, has, she a has a fever, fever and everything. right now, but we're praying that that'll be it. Um, we're not sure what it is, but everybody's on <clears throat> antibiotics. It's so. affecting um, Eli and Cody's oxygen levels. And we did a COVID test, and it was negative, so. We are so, so sick. I can't even explain to you how sick we are. Um... I don't even know. I don't know what it is. It's insane is what it is. Um, we shot the medicinal. It's kind of funny. We shot the medicinal video. Cody was already getting sick. And so we make this medicinal video. And all of a sudden, everybody gets terribly ill. Like, terribly, terribly ill. Um, everybody's getting secondary infections from whatever we have. I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, it has to be something new. It has to be something new. I'm not really sure because I can't even, I cannot even explain to you 
how terrible this is. So Cody had like, you know, he was the first one who got it. So he's got, I mean, just the yellow. I can't even explain it. His eye would look fine. And all of a sudden, this huge yellow gloop would just come over. We'd have to get it out. Anyways, so it was just infection setting in. And this kid has never even had one ear infection his whole life. And he's seven and a half years old. Not one ear infection. And he had double ear infection. Throat. Eyes. And so and then it settled into this deep, 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 tight cough um, that I can't even explain. This mucus, this thick mucus that's coming in the ears, the eyes, and the throats is so thick. All of it is just so thick. I can't, I, like, I literally can't explain it to you guys. And then this little mess would just be all white. So between my parents and his parents, we have been able to eat. <laughs> I am so grateful. Y'all have no idea. Hey, Cookie. So guys, super scary day today. Oxygen levels are being affected. Eli is at a 95. Cody is between a 95 and a 96. Uh, I, I don't even know. I don't even know about this. Right. Nathaniel came down. Whoop! <laughs> Sorry, button. Nathaniel came down with it today. Oh. We are so thankful to all the help my parents and his parents are giving us, making us food. Uh, we seriously could not do it without our parents right now. Kids are sick. Really, 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 really badly sick. Guys, we are growing so weary. It's day 10. Lord, please be with us. We know that you are. Highlight of our day. Uncle Tony and Aunt Liz send us popsicles. How you feeling? Huh? <coughs> Can you look at my fingers? Can you look at my fingers up here? Day, or, yeah, day 11 and we are weary. Uh, we just came together and prayed as a family. We've been praying the whole time, but um, just a little bit deeper and like, you know, Lord, we know, we know that he's the healer and we've seen it so many times. And um, just needing his peace which he has brought, and that's why, you know, we haven't gone, um, yeah, so we have his peace, and, um, okay, Graham has been, um, really bad, Maddie really bad, Eli and Cody really bad, so, um, that tomorrow day 12 is a true true turnaround more <coughs> morning of day 12 we were able to sleep a few hours last night which was a huge change from not even being able to lay down in bed at all uh, for like seven days now
Uh, so that is wonderful. Bad news is Cody woke up with fever again. Um, and that's 13 days straight for him and, and swollen gums. There's a tooth. Sorry, guys. I don't even know if you can see me. Um, there's a swollen gum where there's now a tooth infection. So we got to take care of that. We were milking and I just woke up and apparently things aren't going well. What's going on? What's going on? You're okay. How's your eyes? Yeah. Graham, look at mommy. So they just did a COVID test, a flu test, and a strep test. And then now they're gonna come listen to his lungs and um, look in his ears and see what's going on, huh? Day 14. We saw bronchiolitis in our lungs. So I'm wearing something over my face. Um, Nathaniel can't come out here. He's too congested and tight in his chest. It's definitely not COVID or anything like that. It's bron It's actually bronchiolitis. We're not, she has no idea where we got it. All right, day 14, <laughs> on our way to urgent care with uh, Graham and Eli to get their lungs checked out. Eli still has a fever, 101, and um, Graham has crackling that I can hear when he breathes. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I, I'm in the basement trying to get alone so we can talk a little bit. Uh, we just got back from urgent care with Graham and um, Eli. This is still day 14. We have some news. We have some news. Uh, so I was in there and I'm <coughs> explaining to the doctor. I'm like, please hear me. Please hear Please hear me. This is not right. This is not a normal virus. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. We've had COVID. We've had flus. We've had stress. I mean, we've had all these things. RSV in our house. This is not normal. All of the tests came back negative. We have none of those things. What is going on? And this is a different doctor than yesterday when I took Cody. And she looked at me and she said, it is something new. It is something new. And I'm like, what? <laughs> she said, it's not testing positive for anything else. I've seen it just since around Christmas. Me and my family just got it. And she said, it's horrible. It's so horrible. It lasts a few days. It, calls, it Then it causes bronchitis, bronchiolitis, pneumonia. Please hear me out, though. We are Christians. God is our healer, okay? We put our trust and our faith in him. That's just the way it is. And he is he has moved in the midst. He has given us peace. So this video is not to scare you. Cause that ain't gonna do nothing. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna you are gonna suffer being fearful, and then you're gonna suffer when you when and if you get the virus. There's no point in that. We are equipping you so that you can just be better, better educated in case this does come in your house and you can kind of know 
what to expect so you don't you know so you don't panic um if it's day 10 and, and your kids still have fever do you get what i'm saying i have um stomach pain and nausea by the way my my parents have offered to do the chores for us this whole time um but it's just easier for me to just run out here than have them come all the way eli and cody slept through the night eli had a fever that we were easily able to take down with medicine cody didn't have a fever at all well, 99.6 and 99.7, but um, compared to the 103s we've been seeing, that was amazing. He's on the new antibiotic because with the combination of the eye and ear infection that this causes, the regular amoxicillin does not work. So I will put in the name that we got here. So if we would have known that that's what we needed to begin with, we probably would have been much better off. Maddie and Graham had a really, really hard time with the last night um, because the thick mucus is um, it's trying to work its way out and the inflammation for the bronchiolitis, when the fever spikes, the inflammation spikes as well. It was very tight, very gaggy. <coughs> Um, so Maddie's having a hard time not spitting up, not choking, like like a gaggy choke. So uh, don't worry, we'll be out here soon to love on you guys. Opal, the baby, had a 103 fever that just did not want to break last night. But thank you, Lord, it did break. And I've just been keeping up on the pain fever reliever suppositories because she was so over medicine. They're all over medicine. Those have been absolutely incredible. If you have a baby or a toddler who is refusing to take medicine, they have the suppositories. I didn't even know that. So I'm telling you in case you need them. I'm coming, Rufus, Miss Vernon, and Templeton. I'm coming. Day 15 still, I am super, super, super encouraged. Um, they are nowhere near completely out of it, but we are in kind of like the heat of what a normal virus would be. So, I also want to apologize for my filming this video. I have not felt good, obviously. <laughs> and my goodness, the filming is like half my head most of the time. I do apologize if you're new. If you're not, you know that's not how we normally do it. Alrighty, off to the land of the pigs. Okay. Graham and Maddie still have a horrible cough. Eli and Cody, their coughs are disappearing. You guys, I am pumped. So, by the way, the, I think this is very important to know, and I will explain more in the next video, but the medicinal things that we've been doing, actually, majority of them have been working better. Aside from a couple, probably one, two, three, three things that are um, regular medicine that I would not want to give up. So we will explain in the next video kind of what those are. Um, also to kind of guide you guys in case you ever come in contact with this but great things are happening things are turning around we're still dealing with fevers um ears are clearing up some lots and lots of good things what you think guys all right my daddy came today and filled up waters and gave hay and just did a lot of this stuff i am so appreciative very 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 appreciative my mommy and my mother-in-law cannot wait to get their hands on our house it with the caring of the kids and then us being sick as well there's medicine like bottles all over the counter and the floors need to be back to you you know the laundry's piled up i mean there so many things so um they're like itching to help us they've been so helpful like i've said like three times in the video bringing us food bringing us medicine uh guys if you've sent us anything done anything drop stuff off at our porch we are beyond grateful beyond grateful honestly that's how we got through it thank you thank you 
Thank you. Hopefully you guys can see me at least a little bit. I like to cookie up because it is my hopes that tomorrow we will start milking. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out of this video. <gasps> Chloe! Oh, I didn't know Chloe was out. I was like, something's attacking me. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out of this video um, because I wanna step out in faith that we are done. When the clouds dark, are dark, dark above dark. me, when the world is cold and gray.